I'm Trevor. And I'm Nick. Welcome to Nerdy Cinephiles. Enjoy the file. Hello, fellow Nerdy Cinephiles. So today we thought it would be fun in lieu of WandaVision and how that ended and the possibility and most probably at this point certainty of the future of the MCU involving mutants and with mutants brings X-Men. And one of me and Trevor's favorite things to do off camera and just before we even started the channel was to do fan casting. I mean, who doesn't love it? You just get to pick some of your favorite actors to play some of your favorite characters. And I think we really wanted to make a fan casting video for a while. And what better opportunity than this one to get the ball rolling for us? And yeah. Yeah. What do you think, Trevor? Uh, I think that you're right. We are like really close to, especially after the uh, merger deal with Fox. Um, we're definitely closer to seeing a uh, live action X Men team handled by Disney and Marvel Studios. Mm -hmm. So, yeah, we both uh, came up with our own like list of heroes we'd like to see and actors we'd like to play them, but we didn't actually tell each other the list yet. Like, yeah, that's kill me that's for a, a while. cool part. <laughs> Yeah, that's a good point. So yeah, we, we both made it a point for us to make our own list separately so we didn't have any like uh any biases or influence from each other's lists. And so yeah, so pretty much the main thing was that we were just gonna go through and pick some of our favorite characters. We didn't agree on a set amount of characters or what characters we were gonna use. I think it's pretty obvious about some some of them. And then and in context to the MCU, who would play them? Like, so we're we're really doing this fan cast specifically on the MCU. And I don't know how you want to get this started, but I mean, uh, we could run down just uh, you know, the heroes that we uh, decided. Then we could probably switch mm -hmm. over to the villains and yeah, just talk about uh, the characters a little bit and. Mm -hmm. You know, why we chose certain members to be on each respective team. And yeah, then sure. why we decided to cast who we did uh, as, you know, the character. Yeah. And before before we start real quick, how do you think the MC or Marvel and Kevin Feige are going to introduce them? I mean, I have full faith in them. They're going to do it right, do it justice. I just can't wait to see how they're going to do it. I mean, we already seen that a couple of days ago there, or last week, maybe that news dropped that they there was a movie in production called the the mutants so like they're not titling the movie x-men or maybe the mutants will just be a working title in the meantime but i kind of like it they're just kind of giving their own you know take on it they're kind of trying to separate themselves from the fox universe because like uh all their movies were titled X-Men, and it was yeah. all X-Men, X-Men, X-Men. So it's kind of cool to have a more mutant-oriented take on it. Yeah, and um, I already have a... Well, since probably the beginning of WandaVision, I started theorizing mm -hmm. on how they're actually going to rope uh, the X-Men into this universe, or at least introduce mutants. Yeah. And I think it's like the classic uh, X-Men story. It's all genetic. But mm -hmm. with the uh, use of the Infinity Stones and Stones, Infinity yeah. War and Endgame, and the amount of snapping, uh, yeah, Bruce Banner says that a lot of the radiation coming from the stones was gamma. So I yeah. think big pulses of like gamma radiation, uh, yeah. since it did affect the whole planet or universe, I guess. Mm -hmm. um, those big exposures to gamma will affect certain people who are. Uh, yeah, it will like. It will like. Their uh... gene. Yeah, it will trigger that gene. Yeah. Because like we saw with Wanda, we saw that she had her powers from a very young age. And it wasn't until the Mind Stone, you know, kind of triggered it that she really got her full-blown powers. So Yeah, fully her, activated. Her powers were always there, and it, so her gene was kind of activated there and there. But now, yeah, Which, the possibilities are endless. Not to go too far into WandaVision, but I was not a fan of that at all. How, how her she, powers? Yeah, how it's not just from the stone, it's just something that, you know, was awoken in her, like, through being in contact near the stone. 
Because oh, I loved it. I, and, but she's you know still magic based, and it seems somewhat similar to like what Doctor Strange is. But mm -hmm. he just learned all the stuff. He didn't have you know any. Yeah, with which stones, is kind of so. a basic take on magic. But her gene allows her to tap into magic without having to know the spell. She can just subconsciously do it at will. Oh, okay. And, didn't think of it that way. Well, you know, yeah, because it's still chaos magic. Like, it's still considered magic. It's just... And they gave her the whole Scarlet Witch thing, like, this being is... Which, I guess in hindsight, I mean, they're just setting up as, like, there, there is this mutant, the Scarlet Witch, that can do magic without having to learn all these spells, and that's why Agatha was so mad that she could just do it at will and she didn't have to learn all these spells. And she was jealous of it. Yeah. But it, I, I liked it how... I never thought about it. Like, I just love how it means she's always had her powers and she wasn't the product of 100% of just the stone. Like, she actually... It was actually her, like, the whole time, too. <laughs> it was Wanda all along. No, it was pre-Larson all along. We've already been over this. Oh, my God. All right. All right so, so we'll I think a the... good way to start this off is... What do you think? Who do you think the first mutant is gonna be to, or first big X Men mutant? I should say, because I mean we've already had some mutants. It's gonna be but... Professor X. Okay, Charles so Xavier. who who do you have as Professor X? Let's start off big. I have uh, Giancarlo Esposito, who was Gus oh. Fring and uh, most recently Moff Gideon. That's actually dope. Yeah, see, uh, the biggest thing about him is, like, or Professor X, do, like, I just don't know if they're gonna go young, or old, or medium, or... He's, he's, uh, that's what I was thinking, too, that's why I chose yeah. him. He's older, but, but he doesn't he's look as like... old as uh, Patrick Stewart did. Yeah, he's not, like, decrepit and old. And definitely much older than James McAvoy. Oh, yeah. So, I figured and I he's don't... just... He I don't really know what I want. On screen. Like, he's the type oh, of he's actor that can give, like, good, solid, like, monologues or speeches. And, but he's still, even though he's not physically imposing, the way he delivers his lines makes him mm, kind of intimidating powerful. at times, yeah. And he, we really don't see him in too many hero roles. Or at least neutral roles, even. He's always kind of a more morally wronged being yeah not necessarily so, always a bad guy but someone with his own agenda yeah and he's also like you know in uh in the boys he's kind of the lead oh, of yeah forgot about that too lead of what's the company's name of uh, vaught vaught Industries. yeah vaught. he's like the lead of vaught he's always just this uh, he's a great actor i mean that's actually really cool and it's funny because i didn't cast professor x as weird as that may sound you did not because i knew i knew you just like his character way more than i do and i didn't know if i could do his character really justice by picking a name for him but yeah i mean i can have a couple i can just whip off off the top of my head but yeah well we'll stick to i really was interested list. to see what you had yeah uh who do you think they would probably or at least who would you like yeah. to see them open up the uh mutant verse yeah um i really think they're gonna i can see them either going big with it with like a professor x or a wolverine or i can also see them like starting off slow and giving us a you know like a nightcrawler or a gambit or you know something small like that but I will say, the one character I don't want to see first, or possibly at all, <laughs> uh, and X-Men fans are just going to hate me, dude. But I just don't want to see, really, Jean Grey. At least for right now. She... Yeah, I can understand Great that. character, but he is just overdone. It's been over... It's just... It's so tiring. Uh, I actually have her cast in my thing. Well, I do too. I I have oh. one like young version, and <laughs> it's Millie Bobby Brown. Oh. I, I I was searching around the internet for different fan casts. I didn't always pick what they had, 
I did my own, but just to see what, what direction they were going in. And they had her as like a young choice. And I, I kind of dig that. She's a great actress. And if they were to do a Jean Grey, she has pretty good emotional range. Yeah, she has good range. You see her pretty good crying, you know, scenes in Stranger Things. and Yeah, she basically whatnot. just has to play Eleven yeah. again. Just a child yeah, who can't fair. control her powers. Yo, she you're so right. I didn't even make that connection. Oh, but, oh go ahead. But yeah, as far as the Jean Grey character, as far as if it's overdone, especially in the Fox universe, we also kind of have our Dark Phoenix in Scarlet Witch. So, like that, it's kind of resemblance of the the Phoenix Force storyline. Yeah, they had really oh. similar imagery when yeah. uh, the especially in their this, powers. They yeah, had especially in this figure. MCU version. Yeah, it'd be nice not to have the Phoenix Force and well. Yeah, just Jean Grey has always been like a main plot driver and a main storyline within the X Men stories that we've gotten. Because we've seen the Phoenix Force like twice, right? the The newest one where she, it's young and it's portrayed by a I can't remember the actress's name, but she's uh, like Sophie. A, yeah, Sophie Turner. Sophie Sophie Turner. Yep. Yep. yep Sophie so, Turner. And then we got that, and then we also had the older... Yep, X-Men uh, Last Stand, which yeah, we, that movie was she did, horrible. She kind of did her Phoenix Force storyline. And then now we have the Scarlet Witch, which is kind of the same, and we're just... I don't hate Jean Grey, it's just, you know what I mean. They, I yeah, she hasn't been done justice yeah. on the screen yet. So let's give her some air time, and, or some breathing time, I should say, actually. And I, let's have her be a later stage... See, I was going to ask you, when you were picking out your fan cast, like, what was kind of your process for picking characters? Were you just going on yeah. actors you'd like to see, or you wanted a I younger team? I was trying to or... do both. I, I indulged myself in using some of my favorite actors and actresses as my characters, but I tried to be pretty unbiased. As much as I could be, at least. I mean, it's yeah. fan casting is fan casting, and the part, the fun part about it is making your favorite actors your favorite heroes. Like, if I was gonna do Mysterio, I'd pick Jake Gyllenhaal. Ugh. And oh wait, we got that. So yeah, it does... it's just so cool when that happens. It actually happens. So yeah, that's why it's always fun to do this because you know, mm -hmm. years down the road, whatever they decide to actually give us this, it'd be cool to at least get one pick. And on a team this big, yeah. if I get one of them, I'll be happy. <clears throat> okay, yeah. And I, okay. So I will say I think Wolverine is a top contender of being a first appearance mutant in the MCU. They kind of have to get it in big. I think they will. I but I, I want to I don't think that's a good say... choice for a first go. Yeah, see, Especially I don't know. if it's not Hugh Jackman, then that's a big yeah, okay, risk okay. taking. Before you say anything, I, I, do, I think I, we do Wolverine last. What do you mean? Like we 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 reveal our picks. Last oh, I didn't pick Wolverine. Wolverine. Oh, you didn't? You can I. Ooh. I'm always. I'm, well, I'm really for like you know different yeah. iterations of characters. Like I love Henry yeah, Cavill Superman, but I, I don't want to be casted. But okay, Hugh Jackman as Wolverine. There yeah. are options out there, but yeah, it's always gonna no matter how well they do, it's always gonna be second best. Kind yeah. of. And then it won't be bad, similar to uh, Heath Ledger's Joker. So you're thinking maybe they give him more, more breathing time too? Yeah. And give the give the limelight to some of these lesser known characters and let them kind of lead the X Men parade into the MCU. That's what I'm thinking. Um, I like that. I think I do we can like even that. get away with not having Wolverine at all. I I like that idea. I mean, I want. Uh, It'd be cool to see Wolverine down the line, you know, when maybe when we lose some, when, you know, Thor kind of, he gets too old, Chris Hemsworth, and he drops out, and we for sure, Captain America's gone, and, you know, some of these original players kind of get phased out of the process. I think Wolverine will then have to come in to try and carry, but yeah. I do like the idea. I don't know how many people would like the idea of us saying that we don't want Wolverine in it, at least initially. 
Well, you're going to get the mix of, you know, I'd say it's a 50-50 yeah. split. Either people are saying, no, you're stupid because you need to have Wolverine. Wolverine. He's best. an iconic yeah. member of the team. And then there's other yeah, people who agree X-Men. with us saying, or agree with me saying, oh, yeah, we shouldn't have him at all because you can't replace Hugh Jackman. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I definitely see that. Yeah, it's a really polarizing thing. I mean, I I'm, I guess I'm more in the middle where I'm. It's it would be cool to let him kind of be on the side of things and get him later on. Yeah. But I, mean, I guess I guess in that that case I can just reveal mine. I I sure. picked like a young a young choice and then like a more neutral or older choice. So the young choice I have is Dacker Montgomery, who is also in Stranger Things, and I swear all my X Men aren't from the Stranger Things cast. And that was it's Billy from uh, Stranger Things, right? Yeah, correct. And he's always been fan cast as, you know, like a Red Hood character too. And the thing about him, he's 5'10", and that's tall and all, but Hugh Jackman was also tall. So it wouldn't be a new thing to have a tall, tall Wolverine. So that's where I was like, kind of, like, yeah, he's cool. But maybe we get a more screen accurate small actor okay and so dacker would be great i mean he just has the look he's a pretty good actor his when he snapped in stranger things and he had his dark moments yep you can definitely kind of see wolverine in there so for a more accurate and like a short actor and i don't think you know this this well, you know this actor, and I don't think you know what I'm going to say. So when I say it, you're, you're going to be <laughs> all right excited. And you like where he's from. Daniel Radcliffe. Uh, I want to get your opinion on that. He's five. Not gonna five. Lie, I've seen, there was a lot of rumors or fake rumors going around that he was set to be yeah. cast. I don't like it. You don't? Yeah. I don't. I, I'm not surprised. Part, I'm might be slightly biased because growing up with a harry potter franchise mm-hmm. i see him as only harry potter but then yeah. again i did like uh and he looks a lot different now to be fair yeah um what was it guns Especially akimbo the beard and was all. uh yeah guns that akimbo. was a fun movie i like that and he's in swiss army man with paul dano that's another great uh, he's still was, it's it's a weird like one, one but i didn't like that one it's different he did good in it though like no matter what you think about the movie, he did yeah. good. Yeah, yeah, both did well, but I just didn't care for it. But yeah, I mean, I've seen some, you know, fan mock-ups as, as him as Wolverine, and uh, he's 5'5", five, five, so it's short. He'll be noticeably short. They won't have to do too much, too much camera tricks to make him seem shorter next to Thor and all that. But, yeah, I mean, yeah, like we said, well, I'm, not, I'm not all for that one. I'm sorry. I'm trying to like say something. Yeah. And see this. See I almost I didn't cast. <laughs> I, can't do it. I almost didn't cast Wolverine because I know you're like kind of a big Wolverine guy, and I'm kind of more like, yeah, whatever. I mean, I'm just kind of a more yeah, whatever X Men fan in general. Yeah, I really like the X Men. I mean, it. hell, right now I'm even wearing uh my yeah. I love X-Men a couple hat. characters. I'm loving my uh wearing my X Men hat that my uh yeah foreman gave me at work for Christmas. Oh well, there. Thanks, Josh. Oh, shitting. Josh. <laughs> oh, name drop. All right. But, I mean, yeah, some of my favorite characters in the MCU, are, or not MCU, but just Marvel Universe, are X-Men. But X-Men as a whole, I'm not totally stoked on, and maybe a part of that's the movies, but... Yeah. So, yeah. And I... So, yeah, there's Wolverine. So. One thought I had, though, about Wolverine, though, is mm-hmm. for as mediocre as the prequel trilogy for uh, X-Men with Fassbender and uh, yep. uh, why am I forgetting his name? Professor X. James McAvoy. Uh, James, um, yeah. I did like their inclusion of Wolverine as that little cameo like yep, in the movies. To tie it in. Yeah, to tie it in, but you know, we got to see him. That was nice, but we didn't hang around him too much, making it Uh more on wolverine the longest we got to spend with him was uh days of future past uh right after he was turned into weapon x and he goes Mm -hmm. on a little rampage which eventually we get to see a lot more of the rampage and logan but and then we also we get his solo movies yeah which eh. 
Yeah, like the samurai one. Which, yeah. That movie, I enjoy it. Uh, at least I have the uncut version. So mm -hmm. that's a lot better than the theatrical. And that's the one where they tease his comic accurate costume at the end, which we never see. That yes. universe is so good at just fucking edging us to fucking get to the point of giving us fan casting or fan accurate costumes and they never give it to us. No. <laughs> so in the MCU, they have to. No I... more black leather suits. I'll take I will take the blue jump blue and yellow jumpsuits. Give it to like us. The, yeah. <laughs> I think oh, I can totally see Dacker in that right now. All right, but, well. Yeah. So So I guess one or the other I would rather have Dacker, but at the same time I do kind of it would be cool to see like a short actor take on it, but Dacker would be a good choice, but Yeah, I go with Dacker. But let's see. So one uh, character I know we both have on our fan cast is mm -hmm. uh, Gambit. Oh, okay. And I, I thought you were gonna say a, someone else, but yeah. I have a feeling we I have the same we, one. No, uh, I don't think we do. If we do, that's gonna oh, be really weird. But I think okay. I know who so, you're going with. I have two. Ch I this is another one of the ones where I have like a younger one and then a more neutral one. Okay. So I'll give you my neutral one first because I feel like that's the big one that you want me to say. Channing Tatum. Yep, knew it. I mean, that's just an easy, easy money ball one. I mean, it's been rumored for so long. And I'd be happy with that performance. It, it, yeah, and I don't he hate it. has a lot it. of range. I like it. I don't see why they wouldn't do that. He could be serious like how he was at um, Foxcatcher. Mm -hmm. And he could be funny like he was in uh, 22 Jump Street. He's an underrated actor. Oh, and yeah. And then Hateful Eight. Yep, Hateful Eight, too. Yeah, so underrated. All right, so, we so, have your so, one. Okay, uh, so this is another example of an actor that I love, and I want him to just be in the MCU and be uh, X-Men. And I didn't really find a perfect character for him to play, so I kind of just shoehorned him in a couple for a couple characters, I have him on here twice, actually. Okay. Trevante Rhodes, who it plays the oldest version of the character in Moonlight. Yeah. Ever since I've seen that movie, it's a top three movie in my mind for me. And huh. he blew me out of the water. He is awesome. His I mean, I want, I want him to be, I want him to be a uh, John Stewart Green Lantern, but. If the, we're not going to get that, which I think is a much smaller chance than I want it to be, I guess I just give him some give, give him some roles in the MCU, even though I, though I want him to be in the DC universe. But. <laughs> just get him a job. or So yeah, him as job. Gambit. I mean, Gambit is just one of those characters to me where it's like, yeah, it's whatever. I mean... I always liked Gambit. I always thought he was... No, yeah. Gambit's cool, but he's not like... He doesn't necessarily have to have a certain look or a... I think the biggest thing he needs to have is, uh, I mean, he does have, like, a southern accent. I mean, a Louisiana accent. Uh, yeah, is which that... Is, yeah. I, I, that just might be my personal preference, where I want at least some sort of southern accent, mm -hmm. just because I grew up watching X-Men the Animated Series, and I just love the way he talked. And when I was a kid, I always thought it was funny, but now I just, I don't know. And it, he, uh, the character in the animated series had just a certain swagger about him. And he was also a badass and cool powers, and he was definitely one of my favorites and still is. Well, guess where Trafonte Rhodes is from? Where? Louisiana. Oh, I did not know that. Yeah. Yep, that's why I kind of put him I heard him, him there. speak with much of an accent, though. So if he can well, somehow yeah, pull it off, I mean, even a little bit... Yeah, to be points, fair, I'd be fine with that. Yeah, Moonlight's the only place I've seen him in, so. He was in, um, I think he could pull it Bird off. Bird Box, I think. Seen Bird Box? I feel like I've seen him before in that. Let's just look at his discography. But, okay, so while I look it up, who's... Yeah. Oh, yeah, he is in Bird Box. He's also in the Predator movie, the 2018 one. Oh, that... Tr oh, that train wreck. Huh, I... I haven't uh, seen that. Is that the one with uh, Key? Yeah, 
Yeah. Michael Keegan Key. Oh yeah, it is. Yeah, I haven't seen that in Don't Olivia Munn. Don't. Great cast. Great cast. But they took it in yeah, a weird I, direction. But I heard they focused more on the humans and having yep. it try to be funny. Yeah, they try. They... Yeah, they laid too I'm much not, into the I, comedic elements. I was never big in the Predator Alien movies, but oh, see, I love those. Yeah, I might give it a watch. I can make you a list but... of good ones to watch, but. I guess they're remaking a remaking it for a show, but. All right, so my pick for Gambit, I know you're gonna love. I think you're gonna okay. like my pick better than your picks. Oh, maybe. I don't even know if I could guess. Probably not. Huh? Take take give one me a guess. Hint. Nope, give I me can't a hint. give you a hint because you would get oh you would God. guess it immediately. There's so many choices. I mean, literally. Just go off of like, give you like ten seconds and just go off of like you know my bias. Tom Hardy. No. I picked uh, Norman Reedus. Uh, Good old Daryl oh, Dixon shit. from The Walking Dead. Okay, yeah, I would never have guessed that. Oh, okay. That's an older one. Oh, yeah. I went for More, um kind of uh, middle-aged, uh, somewhat experienced X-Men, X-Men team. Not really focusing on yeah, the kids in the school. 50s. I'm thinking strictly about the combat team that is going to be, you know, handling missions. I like that. I like that a lot, and he's from, like, Florida, I think, so... Yeah, I mean, we hear him speak in The Walking Dead. Oh, yeah, so... he's the, that voice. I, I like that. I mean, I can't hate be, it, uh, for sure. He can also be comedic and uh, kind of, like, sassy, too, uh, which mm -hmm. he was in the... What was it, Blade Trinity? <laughs> or it was either Blade 2 or 3. He was playing the tech guy, and he made yeah. a whole bunch of smart-ass remarks and stuff. And yeah, and I know he's in the Reedus. Boondock Saints. Yep, Boondock Saints. Oh, I did too. Oh my god. And I know you haven't seen it yet, but the newest episode of The Walking Dead at the time of this recording, which is the second episode in the six bonus episodes they're doing right now, it's kind of a more of a him solo episode. So yeah, I'm. Uh, I mean, I gotta find he, a way to he's it. just so good. He's such a good actor. Oh yeah, and even uh, just he needs more work barrel, for sure. He has a lot he's of range. Not, yeah, he's not in a lot of stuff, like, underused for sure. So, yeah, I mean, hey, I like that more than, I don't know. I <laughs> I like all, all the choices yeah. so far. Yeah. I will I say like that, that was, that. Uh, this is not my only Walking Dead cast member. Oh, I, see, I didn't do any, I don't think. I, I did if... more than I thought I would. <laughs> and I'm a fake, I'm a fake fan, apparently. Fuck. All right, so still running through the heroes. Uh, what? I believe you picked Storm as well, right? Oh, of course. Storm, okay. okay. <laughs> so just Rogue is my favorite X Men. Storm my second, and then it's really kind of whatever from there. But so just to throw that out there. So yeah, Storm, my girl. All right. Who do you, <laughs> I want uh, you to go first. This time. No, I want okay. you to go first. Okay. So. I chose, uh, <laughs> I always have trouble pronouncing your name, uh, Dania Guerrera, uh, oh, who okay. is Michonne from yeah. The Walking Dead. See, and this also, is interesting. She is in Black Panther. As, Yo, okay, uh, so, <laughs> so since you say that, I have Lupita Nyong'o, Nyong who is also in Black Panther. She's the other bodyguard oh she is yeah that's that's so funny see when i first casted um uh dana there or yeah, i'll just go dana i'm gonna botch the name mm -hmm. but that's who i know what i'm talking about but um mm -hmm. when i cast her as storm i was like wait she's in uh black panther and one of the rules we yeah. set was you know yeah you just don't have you know reoccurring members in that universe yeah yeah because in the comics but storm and black panther always had like a thing together yeah, and so I'm we like, can just well, she could have. We have the same latent, idea here. Yeah, some latent mutant abilities, and mm -hmm. yeah, be the new protector yeah, of Wakanda. Yeah, we're on the same page here for sure. Which because also... I thought the same thing for Lupita. Yeah, like she, she's just makes Storm from Wakanda. <laughs> Wakanda. Oh boy. Wakanda. I swear I said Wakanda the first time. Okay. Uh, <laughs> but yeah, just make her from Wakanda. It makes it just feel way more connected. Storm doesn't have to be this certain person. 
exactly. And so just make one of those girls get the... Yeah, give them the it, mutant powers, and it, oh, they could be the new protector of Wakanda God, since dude, we're no fucking Black Panther brilliant. there anymore. We're fucking so don't brilliant, even, dude. Yeah, don't even do Black can Panther Kevin, 2. Just can Kevin Feige turn, just hire us? He should. I mean... God. Yeah, just change Black Panther 2 title into Storm and just rewrite the movie. <laughs> that... I uh, yep. Billion dollar right there on the table. If that happens, I don't know. I, I don't cut. know if I would go that far, but they if oh okay, but so obviously I love I love Michonne obviously way more than Lupita. But That's crazy how we had the same idea though. <laughs> yeah. I think I, I prefer mine just cause she is generally a better actress she's kind of hot on the stove right now she's she has really good name recognition i think she's much younger than diana or diane yeah i think yeah i think she is damn i'm so just shocked that we had like just such a similar uh (laughs) it's just such a brilliant idea idea. i I think i kind of hinted at it earlier but so with storm okay so then yeah you definitely have rogue um what other because the only other heroes i have my team that i haven't discussed would be rogue colossus and cyclops okay so i don't have okay well i have cyclops so let's do cyclops let's do all the ones we have okay i guess yeah and I know Cyclops is a big one for you. He's your favorite X Men, or second to Wolverine, maybe. Uh, I, where he where he kind of lies, he's about even with all the other ones that I like. I uh-huh. mean, I'd say my top ones are, at least for the heroes, would be, uh, Wolverine, Gambit, and Colossus, and then everyone else is kind of even. Yeah. Except for Beast. Beast is I don't like Beast. Yeah, I have Beast on mine. Yeah, I don't have him on mine. Get him out of my so, podcast. So yeah, so Cyclops okay. uh, is another character I had Trevante Rhodes for. Oh, you did? That would work. Yeah. I'd like him better in that as Gambit. I think it, yeah. I mean, especially... Oh, you like they... you like him as Gambit more than Cyclops? No, sorry, I like him more as oh, Cyclops. Okay. Uh, and with Cyclops, that's a character which they have not done... Justice, oh, to justice too. yeah yeah they kind of make him kind of like a bitch yeah they just kind of in the first like trilogy of the live action x-men movies uh with james marston playing him mm-hmm. uh they kind of just used him as like a love kinda... triangle thing just yeah they Cuck. came in yeah <laughs> yeah <laughs> they cucked him <laughs> <laughs> they cucked james marston oh yeah. they oh, look how they did Gray. our boy <laughs> And now look at him. He's doing Sonic movies. I know. Well, I mean, he did do... Uh, no, I heard World. that movie was good. Yeah, I, he did. No, I know. Sonic was a lot better than I thought it'd be. Mm-hmm. I enjoyed it. And he's always fan-casted as Superman, too, I always see, which I don't really understand. Yeah. Also, Hal Jordan. Yeah, I could... That's which I can see more than Superman, but... Yeah. Well, for my Cyclops, I picked one of my favorite actors, and that's Ryan ooh, Gosling. Ooh. Oh! Oh, okay. Also, Blade Runner. Yep. And Notebook, obviously. Yes. I'm a huge fan of the Notebook. He's, he's a great actor. I want to watch uh, Amer- American History X. Oh, wait, that's not even him. That's no, Edward that's, Norton. Yeah, that's Edward Norton. <laughs> What's the other one he's in that's similar to that? Uh, Place Beyond the Pines? Is that what you're thinking of? Yes, but also... That's not similar, I was going to say, but... um. I don't even know if it's similar. In my head it is, but... Uh, no. Place Beyond the Pines and American uh, History X are very different. <laughs> yeah. One deals with a and I haven't guy seen either. Teddy Robbery, the other deals with neo-Nazis. Yeah, so... I haven't seen either, so... Rip. I don't know what I'm thinking of. Maybe, maybe I'm just dumb. It's a very real possibility. You're thinking of Drive, or... Maybe I am thinking of the place beyond the pines. Just I mean, kind of, 
I don't know. Whatever. Yeah, but he's a doesn't matter. Great but yeah, actor. he's a great actor. I mean, one of my favorite movies, uh, mm-hmm. at least like top twenty, probably because I have a whole bunch of movies. Is uh, the Nice Guys with him and Russell Crowe, and he was mm. so funny in that movie. But I feel okay. like if they make Cyclops more of the leader type that he is, okay, um, make him the lead bitch. Yeah. Have him actually directing people and you know okay. leading missions and stuff. I feel it could be great. And then when the mission's over, this that, and that, that's and a... downtime between characters. He yeah. could not be completely stone cold. He can be lighthearted, crack a joke here and there. That's a big cast. That's a powerhouse cast. That would shake the MCU for sure. Oh, they got the money for it. They can do it. Oh no, they can. I'm just saying it. That's a big one. That's like a that that would just be big news. That would. Yeah. So who yeah. do you have as uh, your Cyclops pick? Yeah. So besides Trevante Rhodes, I picked a young pick, and Taron Egerton, who, you know, plays, who is Rocket yep. in Rocket Man, Elton John. He's in the Kingsman. Kingsman. Yep. He is so good in Kingsman. Kingsman's just so good as it is. But. So yeah, I mean, he's he ha- he looks the part. He's great actor young up and coming i mean i thought about casting him in mine actually he could, he could also be like wolverine no you're going too far he's, now he's like five nine no i can see it. he's british he's five nine which isn't on the taller side i mean i'm five nine but i mean what is in the uh, world of superhero acting yeah uh, i mean i can see him as cyclops i'll give you that Okay. We'll agree with you on that. Wolverine. I'll take it. No. I'll take it from the Cyclops lover. I'll take a dub. Cyclops is awesome. People can. I don't hate him. People can complain to me all they want about how it's dumb. I have to wear glasses all the time. Yeah. He just has period eyes and just shoots period power out of his eyeballs every now and then when he gets pissy. When it's the time of month. Ah, Nick. That's horrible. (laughs) (laughs) I say some pretty egregious shit, but that was. (laughs) <laughs> is, right. that, is that what's gonna get us canceled? Uh, hey, you, you can- gonna be cancel, that, or it's cancel be, Cyclops, not me. It's either gonna be that getting us canceled, or the fact that you mispronounce Wakanda. So Wakanda, yeah, yeah Wakanda, that, yeah. There you go. To be fair, okay, I'm not even. We're just gonna change the subject on that. I have, I, I think I have a speech impediment. I'm just. And it's called being stupid. Yeah, I was going to say, I think you're just dumb, buddy. Yeah. but And I, I talk too fast and I get horny. I mean, I get... Yeah, okay. That's the best of I'm us, digging though. myself a hole. Yeah. Speaking of you getting all horny, you want to tell me uh, who you have in your <laughs> you, sl- you bitch. Okay, so... I know a lot of people have had Alexandra Daddario as her, and I totally would be okay with that. But... This is one where I was like, Rogue's my favorite. She's probably my second favorite Marvel character behind Spider-Man. Really? Even, she might even, she's up there like with number one, like her and Spider-Man are neck and neck. I mean, I'd give the edge to Spider-Man. Yeah. I love Rogue. And it's not just because she's hot. Because she sucked in the movies. Oh yeah, she just, her character arc was, oh, I'm sad, I can't touch anyone. Oh, I could touch people now if I wear gloves. The end. But in in the comics, in the TV show, or the the cartoon show, she's so good, though. Like, she starts off, she's not always been good. She's, she was bad originally. You know, she, she has this range of a character. I, I think I've said it before in one of our episodes, but I just love characters that have, that aren't always so goody-goody, and they have these. Yeah, morally gray. Yeah, areas. Ambiguous. No, gray. That was a good, morally gray areas in their character traits and development. They, like, go all over the place. You know, like a Darth Revan in Star Wars, or just those type of characters, you know, like Raphael in the Ninja Turtles, or even Michonne in The Walking Dead. And I'm just looking at all of my pops right now, because these are all characters that I like. I mean, Batman Beyond, even. Jace, uh... Yeah, Jason Statham, Jason Todd. Oh, no, I was gonna say Jason Voorhees. I looked at my. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. He's definitely morally gray. I mean, 
It, he, well, he was just an innocent little boy, and then he got beat up by a bunch yeah, of horny just, you know, camp counselors. And he's uh, t- and spending drowned. his time now just murdering horny teens for having premarital sex. Yeah, he's out yeah. there doing God's work. But, you know, like, Mr. Freeze and uh, Baron Zemo, even. Like, just, I just love these characters that have these inner, inner battles with themselves it's not always just about them fighting a bad guy it's them fighting themselves and yeah it gives a lot more depth and a lot uh yeah of different routes you could take characters to which... and these are all characters that don't really necessarily cause problems for the rest of the group they're just kind of doing it on their own times they're not kind of bringing in other characters to help them they kind of i don't they i don't know how to ex- i think you know what i'm saying yeah right? yeah i know i know what you're saying but so yeah, to get though to the point, Rogue is very special to me. So, I mean, Alexandra Daddario, I love her. She would be great. She'd but be I, 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 I took this one at. <laughs> I yeah okay. Trevor's a big Alexandra Daddario fan or Stan, I should say even. Uh yeah. I mean yeah. Not gonna get into the things I do. Or but, simp. You know, simp I, might I, be the adequate I'd fucking, term. I'd fucking simp for her. I mean, I haven't yet, but I mean, might as well start. Yeah. But we want her as Zatanna, right? Oh, yeah. That's another fan cast that we already discussed. But and I today, believe I have actually, the perfect today they Justice confirmed, League Dark one. Today they confirmed a Zatanna movie. It's, I don't know if it's a movie or a show. I don't think they even know yet or announced, but there yeah, is a there's Zatanna a project. There's a project in the works. So that's cool. And if they cast they might Zatanna, go young with I, it. I feel like they're going to go young with it, though. Yeah. Okay, but which I will say, I want Margaret Qualley as that. But okay, but Rogue, Jesse Buckley, and I don't know if you know who she is. I do not know who that is. So she is in. Um, I'm thinking of ending things, which really cemented her as one of my favorites. She kills in that movie, and actually, Jesse Plemons. She co-stars with Jesse Plemons. <laughs> who I also have in this fan cast. And you know Jesse Plemons. He's in that Black Mirror episode of the Star Trek one. Yes. He's in, I, he's in the Fargo show. He's yeah. in the second or third season of Fargo. I think it's the second. He, yeah. But she's also in Chernobyl. She's like the wife of one of the guys that gets in the accident in Chernobyl. And she is just a phenomenal actress. She is one of the best actresses I've ever seen. Really? Yeah. Huh. I have never you, heard you yeah. mention her before until yeah. right now. I mean, cause it's because she's just not in these movies that you know. And she's not like this. She doesn't look like a superhero, but I think that's what would be great. I mean, she's just a great actress. She can do this range. And she has red hair which is my favorite look for Rogue when she has the red hair. Yep. And then just dye that white strip down the middle of her head. Or just the front part, whatever. And, yeah, she's a great actress. I think she would pull that off. And if you haven't seen I'm Thinking of Ending Things, you should. I'm suggesting that to everyone. And I think most people have seen Chernobyl, so maybe you just don't know who she was, but she was one of the main wives in it. I haven't seen uh, Chernobyl, so... Yeah, very good show, by the way. Huh. Or limited series, to, even. Yeah, I might have to check it out. But yeah, she's so good. Uh, so yeah, my pick, did you do Rogue? Yeah, I did. I did, actually. Oh, ooh, ooh, okay, I love it. I did uh, Julia Garner. Julia Garner. Uh, and see, she, I don't know if I know her. No, have you seen head. Ozark? I have not, you but have I've, not, uh, you need to get on that. semi-familiar. Uh, well, she plays one of the main characters, uh, Ruth. And... Julie Gardner, you said? Yeah. Julia Garner. Um, oh, yep. Yeah. Okay, so she's a She was girl. also in uh, Sin City. Uh, oh. Small, small appearance, but that was where I, I first saw that. her. But I haven't seen that in so long. She has fantastic acting in uh, Ozark. And she's not in a lot of stuff, but... That's a show I, I like need to watch. I could see a lot of the rogue character... And uh, okay. uh, her portrayal of Ruth in Ozark. So mm-hmm. it'd be nice to, you know, have some okay. of these smaller I mean, actors get better jobs. I don't have an opinion on it. 
because I don't know. Yeah. I see she has really curly hair, so I'm down. Yeah, no, she's a great actress, though. Okay. Cool. I mean, I, yeah. Yeah, there's not much to say if you haven't seen I'm just excited stuff. to see. I just want to see Rogue done good. So that's all I care about. Yeah, hopefully she won't have the issue of, like, I can't touch people. I'm sad. Wah. Yeah. Yeah, I mean, I blame that on Fox, not anything else. I mean, uh, I'll, I'll blame, it on, whole show. blame it on everyone. I'll blame it on you. <laughs> All right. Uh, so who? Um. So I think we don't have anyone similar anymore. I only have two more uh, members on my heroes list. Okay, let's just do yours, and then we okay. do mine. I have a few, but I don't think so. All right. So I have a uh, Colossus on here. Okay, okay. And he is played by Florin uh Moonton. Yes. Yes. Uh yep. I do know Victor him. Victor Dra Drago from uh Creed 2 and he's also going to be which I just realized like the other day, he actually is already going to be in the MCU. Oh really? He's gonna How be do you spell in, his uh, name again? Um uh, F L O R I A N, and then just type in M and it should pop up. Oh, yeah, okay, I got it. I just wanted to picture his face, okay. Yeah. yeah. But, um, he's gonna be. Oh, yeah, he's gonna be Shang-Chi, I see. Yep. Oh. Um, as some yes, new character cause... called Razor or something like that. Razor he's the Fist. fighter in Creed, too. Yep. And he's also, uh, oh, just yeah. cast as Krieg in the new Borderlands movie. Oh wow! So he's starting Who to get more gonna roles. Who's uh, he going to be in Shang Chi? I saw that it said someone named Razor Fist or something along those lines. Huh? Dude, that movie's going to be pretty sick. The fighting is going to be insane in that movie, and Aquafina is in that movie, and I love Aquafina. She's one of my favorites too. Yeah, I don't know anything about that realm. Not actresses, Marvel. but she's she's really funny. But oh yeah, me either. I've never heard of Shang Chi before this. And I, they're bringing back, you know, uh, the Ten Rings. Uh, what's yeah, that? Um, the terrorist group. God, look at us. We're we're so smart. I know. We know everything. Definitely watch yeah. us for in definitely watch us for information on anything superhero. Fuck. Um, <laughs> I just typed in Iron Man terrorist. <laughs> I don't know. But yeah, that's why I have cast as Colossus though. And then the last pick I had for. Heroes, I don't think we have the same one, is Iceman. Yeah, no, I, picked, I don't have him. I pick Shaquem Moore. Oh, yes. Okay, I'm down. Voice actor uh, in Into the Spider-Verse, and he voices mm -hmm. Miles Morales. He's so good. He was another great movie, uh, Dope. Mm hmm Which I highly recommend watching if, you know, no one's ever seen it. It's a light but fun movie. Yeah, I'd like to see him. Uh, I mean, he already did a great job voicing Miles, but I'd like to see him live action. I think him is uh, yeah, he's cool. Ice Man would be awesome. And he's in he's in the Wu Tang show. Yep. Uh, yeah, I like him a lot. He couldn't. He wouldn't go wrong for any character. And who, so, who do you have left for your? Uh, so let's see your gang. So I have Kitty Pride because I feel like she hasn't been done right because she we haven't seen her, uh, we haven't seen her purple dragon, which I think the MCU money will be able to do. It's gonna suck for the animation team to animate that all the time, but I want it. <laughs> you want the purple dragon? Yeah, and Kitty Pride's a cool little character. I mean, I feel like Marvel would like to have that for. She's a really inspiring young female character, so I don't know why they wouldn't. And I have Margaret Qualley as her. I'm not familiar with who that is. Uh, Kit or Kitty. I'll say. <laughs> <laughs> in, in, uh, Once Upon a Time in Hollywood. Oh, okay. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, the foot girl. <laughs> yeah. She is... 
I was really impressed by her for performance in that movie. Not only is she, you know, she's hot, I'm going to say it. <laughs> she she was a good actress. I mean, and I've never seen her in anything before. Well, actually, I, I got proved wrong by looking at her discography. I had seen the live-action Death Note, but at the time, I didn't know who she was, and now I do. And she's a really cool actress. She has an interesting look to her, and she looks just like Kitty Pride. I feel like. So... Well, you don't think that, um, Alan, oh, sorry, uh, Elliot Page did a good job? Yeah. And, uh, well, wait, next one, The Last yeah. Stand? <laughs> I mean, come on, without her, we wouldn't have gotten the iconic line of, I'm the juggernaut, bitch. <laughs> she, or, yeah. <laughs> I just, I hate all those movies. I mean, many of those characters weren't done good. Yeah. Yeah, those were. Uh, yeah, those were not good. There's a few good moments in each movie, but overall, the movies were not good. Mm hmm. So that's. I mean, yeah, who else do you have on your uh, list for heroes? Because. Yep, so Kitty Pride. Yep. Um, I have Beast and Nightcrawler. And then I have a few, few characters where I didn't cast, but I want to see them. Okay. So. Beast. I have Will Poulter, which I had seen on a fan cast. And for a, my young choice. Yeah, I don't know if you want to throw him in the Google machine. You'll know uh, who he is I, when you see his face. He's in a lot of shit. He's in Midsummer, the Maze Runner, the other Maze uh, Runner. Yeah. He's in a okay. Black Mirror episode. Yeah. Where the Millers. He gets his balls bit by a spider or something. Yeah, okay. Yeah, I remember him now. Good actor. I mean he he just looks like he could play Beast. And then also Gatin Mats Mats Matizo, who is also in Stranger Things. Which character is he? He's the Weird looking one with the mouth thing. He has the <laughs> the that weird just... looking one with the mouth well, thing. He, that, that's he has a great that way to yeah describe. He the has that. Things. He has that growth disorder. <laughs> with the mouth thing, you know what I'm talking about, though. Yeah, I do. I'm okay. So, yep. Yep. I, so I looked it up now. Yeah. Yeah. You were really yeah. bad with. For an episode on fan casting, you're really bad with names and just Dude, describing things. I cannot. I just in the moment uh, under pressure, I choke. I'm like, uh, under pressure. Someone have a fucking gun to your head? <laughs> well, no, but I'm just you know I'm obese. I'm trying to lose weight. I don't know what that has anything to do with yeah, anything. Yeah, that's not working for you. I'm just gonna yeah. throw that out there. You, you make me sick. <laughs> just yourself. I'm not even just fat for the sick. record. Oh no, he's fat. Fat as shit. No. If uh, if the live action rogue is out there, he also doesn't bathe. He doesn't all right, exist. So all right, that's not bad for uh. But Beast Jesse and... Plemons is my real pick. Okay, yeah, because he is an I amazing like actor, and I want to see him and in stuff more, especially superhero movies. And then I have Nightcrawler, which <laughs> <laughs> I cast him as a villain in mine. Okay, that's interesting. Wait. But you didn't have a fan cast for him. No, I did, but not for the heroes. I'm I'm oh. considered Nightcrawler a villain. I yeah. There's Wait, you a, have a whole list of villains. Uh I have a few. I have Magneto, oh, I didn't know that. Juggernaut, Pyro, oh, Nightcrawler. Shit. I Bastion, didn't do any like. And then Jean Grey is the Phoenix. Oh, okay, well I didn't do it. Okay, well I guess I kind of did them all lumped in. Yeah. But okay, so Nightcrawler, he would be a cool villain if they just make him full on bad. Yeah, that's what I'm thinking. I mean, kind of like think uh, hardcore Azazel X-Men. is. Yeah, hardcore X Men fans probably wouldn't like that, but. Well, this is my fan cast. They don't like it, then make your yeah, own. Yeah, no, I like that idea. And he's like, he's Russian. In the comics, Nightcrawler, he has the uh, Russian accent. No, it's German. I think. I think it's German. Oh, okay, one or the other. Because um, Mystic and Colossus are like the only Ruskies that I'm aware of. All right, and I can say okay. So, Russian. or magic, you mean? 
Yeah, or magic. Mystique. Yeah, ma- or, oh, okay. I don't know. It's sword lady <laughs> with purple. Yeah, okay, powers. that's magic. Yeah. That's magic. Yeah, I didn't pick Mystique because she. Yeah. She has been done bad. Well, not necessarily. It's just. I don't know. So who'd kind you of another is, uh... character. Oh, kind of another character I'm sick of. So sorry, I might have missed it on my little tangent there, but who'd you pick for Nightcrawler? Oh. Uh, Oh, yeah, I didn't. Okay, so I have a young choice and a neutral choice. Okay. You're going to love my young choice. Oh, <laughs> Ezra, the Flash Miller. Uh, all right, well, that's all the time we have today. Thanks. Yep, that's... <laughs> all right, that's it, folks. Yeah, oh, God. I don't no, like him. No, I'm just him. kidding. I didn't, have, I didn't have Ezra Miller. I had Brie Larson. Uh, I put and it, I had her as Mystique also. Oh, I had Amber Heard as my Nightcrawler because they're I, both monsters. Yeah. And I also had her as Magneto. Brie Larson as, as Magneto. Uh, you're just saying so, things. Yeah, you're not going to get triggered. I'm fine. <laughs> Alright, so yeah. Ezra Miller, I was legit with, though. Ugh, God, I was hoping that was a joke. No, I mean, it's kind of a joke. It was kind of a joke. I mean, but it, I can see it. It's not, he's not a bad actor. You just don't like how his he's stereotyped. He's cast as, like, this goofy guy I but what if they just like make him, him a full on bad guy he couldn't do it he I can't do he it could. I don't think he could All right, well, he I can't guess play Barry no Allen to save his life well Barry, Barry Allen's not a bad guy well he did a poor job at that I don't like you Ezra yeah, well. alright okay so my, hey, my hey, neutral hey, hey, pick hey. is Robert Sheehan I'm probably butchering all these last names but he plays. Yeah, I'm not familiar with him. Okay, yeah, you will, you will. Once I tell you who he plays, he's in the Umbrella Academy, and he is Claus or Klaus, whatever. Oh, Klaus. Called. Okay, I was like, who has Claus in Umbrella Academy? Yeah, I'm. See, I'm an idiot. Just can I just leave and you just finish the episode for me? <laughs> I can. <laughs> I can do that. But yeah, he was a legit. He'd be he's good. a legit. Yeah, he'd be good. Yeah. He's a great actor too. The range. Yeah. He I love his he's my favorite character in the Umbrella Academy for sure. But yeah, so him is Nightcrawler. Yeah, and good. then I have, you know, Psylocke, Magic, Cloak and Dagger, and Gentle, or I think that's how you pronounce it, but I've never heard of that character before. And I I think we were talking to each other when I found him. Yep, yeah. He's, he's the Wakandan mutant who has vibranium tattoos. And now tell me you don't want to see that. I'd have Shakeem Moore play him, too. Yeah, sure. Or Trevante Rhodes. So, that I mean, that that would just be a cool character. I was just looking up black characters for Trevante Rhodes to play. Yeah. <laughs> even though he doesn't have to play a black character, but... Yeah. I mean, that would be badass. I really want to see that. And Cloak and Dagger, the show, is all right. I was never familiar with their... I wasn't a fan of the show. With their uh, with the characters before the show, and I kind of did some research, but I really love the characters. So I want to see them done right. And I never pictured them as X-Men, but I guess they are sometimes. But whatever. I mean, either are that they're mutants, and I want to see them in the MCU, so... Just recast yeah, them be... from how they were in that show they did. That'd be interesting. So did you pick any villains for your fan cast or did you just I pick... mean, I guess not. I mean Magneto was really the only Okay. I'd be interested to see who your Magneto pick is. Because I, I don't have see, too I much did, I, to say I about didn't. My He's another character oh, I just wanted didn't? to leave to you. Oh, okay. Well, Magneto is like my favorite just super powered person yeah. in all of comics, which is which is why great I backstory, like awesome powers, and the direction because he is morally gray. Uh, mm-hmm. I mean, he's mostly a bad guy, but he does he's have most... good moments. Uh, well, he's one of those guys where it's like he doesn't always just want to kill everyone, or he has good intentions most of the times. He just goes about it. He doesn't have any codes to follow by, so he just does it by yeah. any means. Possible. And also he wants, living through he wants uh, mutant, PTSD. Yeah, he wants mutant survivor. supremacy. That's his main thing, right? 
Yeah, because he kind of understands in his eyes that there's never going to be peace. So he's like, yeah. why keep fighting when we could just end it like in one fell swoop and then we're fine. Mm -hmm. But for him, I chose Jeffrey Dean Morgan. See, yeah, I did. Uh, I and, like it. I mean, and I don't hate it, obviously. Jeffrey Dean Morgan, he could be serious, but also just, you know, be kind of so... calm too. And I think that him uh, conversing with uh, Giancarlo Esposito would be amazing. Those two See, that was, talking back and yeah. forth. Oh, that was my next perfect. question for you. What? Was just how you see them working with each other. I see them similar to how it was already portrayed in the movies. Where I can, they're enemies, uh, but at the same time, they'll have moments where, you know, Professor X, Prof yeah, Professor X will go up to him and just be like, Eric, like, we gotta calm down, and then Eric. Magneto just gives his side of things, just like, you know, you can work with me, or you you can either be with me or against me. And he's like, I don't, like, that's the thing, is Magneto doesn't hate Professor X, he's just trying to do his own thing, but Professor X is trying to stop him, which, at some times, it's almost like he's the bad guy. <laughs> but yeah, Jeffrey yeah. Morgan, I want him to have more roles. I'm so that's sad that we lost him as Thomas Wayne. Oh, uh, don't even get me started. Uh, what could have been? You So you want him to just go full Negan in Magneto mode? Uh, not full Negan. Uh, I could do probably tone back, <laughs> probably tone back 40% of, like, the, just, like, sarcastic mm -hmm. side of him. Just make him all serious. Mm -hmm. And I think, yeah, you definitely have a <laughs> fantastic character. Uh, you know what I'm thinking? I don't want to know, actually. I don't like the way but you're what? laughing. It sounds maniacal. <laughs> I'm not well, not for it. But just imagine if Magneto ran into Shang Chi, he would want to bust his head open with a baseball bat. God, Nick. And now we're officially canceled. I just that yeah. Um. All right. Uh. Oh no. <laughs> That'd be funny though. What if he kills Shang Chi? No, they won't kill him. No. Unless. But, um, anyways, so I'm just going to run through the villains I have. Um, mm -hmm. I have Juggernaut, who's played Juggernaut, by... Bitch. Yep, he's played they, by... Uh, and, okay, Kevin so he's Dorsen. not... Nope, he has to be recap or reprised by the guy. No, in... no. Yeah. I picked... It's only, it's only way. This is the way. No, I picked Hafor Bjornsson, who yep. played the Mountain in Game of Thrones. Well, Well, yep. one of the three actors, but he was the one... Uh, during the fight with Pedro Pascal's character. So you Martel. don't want him, you don't want him, like, CGI'd? No, I mean, this man is big enough already, it'd be fine. CGI'd That's be fair. fine, make him a little bigger if you'd like, but... Like him in Deadpool? Yeah. I really liked him. That was him. fine. He was that was Deadpool. perfect in Deadpool. And he was voiced by Ryan Reynolds. But yeah, no, just a big, like, hulky guy, who doesn't have okay. to do much. Um, yeah. I have but, a, oh god. Well, I just know like he's a big counterpart to the Hulk in the comics. So how would that work if they decided to do that? You know what I mean? So it would be CGI Hulk against <laughs> the Mountain, like without any. Well, CGI, there's also like. a lot more to the character. He is stepbrothers with uh Professor X. Well I know, I yeah. know, but like I was just thinking like if they wanted to give Hulk more because Hulk really doesn't have a character right now that can yeah. go toe-to-toe -to, -toe to him. Like, he's Hulk is usually just used to fight a whole bunch of disposable guys. He doesn't have to be... Guys. Well, bringing back to the point of uh, Deadpool 2, uh, when you had Colossus and mm -hmm. Juggernaut fighting, I mean, they're both CG, but Juggernaut was much bigger than Colossus. Yeah. Even at times somewhat ma uh, manipulating the scales of... Colossus' mm -hmm. is normal height compared to, like, Wade or any of the other characters. So, you could have him be smaller. I mean, all Juggernaut really mm -hmm. does uh, is just run forward because he can't be stopped. So, yeah, they, they'd find... I'm, uh, Not, yeah. I'm pretty sure the VFX department could uh, find a way around that or work with I just it. don't know how it would look with a live-action guy fighting a big CGI green guy. It's been done before. I don't know. Have you seen Hulk fight? A guy like that? Um, 
No, uh, or other than Thanos in Infinity War. Oh, well, War, Loki. Because... Well, uh, Thanos, yeah. Thanos is CGI. Okay, yeah, Loki. Um, yeah, so... And Thor. I, okay, so where he... Okay. Yeah, that's true. And, I mean, they, they're, the CGI has come a long way, and they're really good, so I guess it wouldn't be that yeah, big be of a problem. Just off the top of my head, I was like, huh. All right, then I have uh, The Blob, uh, who okay, is basically yeah. just going to be voiced by Jack Black. And played by me. Yeah. Nah. You gotta lose <laughs> voiced a, that's by a little Jack too fat. Black and played by me. That's a little too fat. <laughs> oh, my God. <laughs> Everyone's going to think I'm actually fat. Well, you are. So don't lie to him. Oh my god, I am. Um, yeah, he's just a character, just a villain I kind of randomly tossed in there. Um, mm -hmm. I also have Pyro, who okay. will be played by Adam Driver. Okay. Which I think that'd I'm be I'm not really familiar good. with Pyro. He's just fire dude, right? Yeah, just a fire dude. He's basically the human torch, but he... He can't, he can't like, Full turn body. himself... Well, he can't, like, just make fire. He ha he could only manipulate it, as far as I oh, remember. Okay. Yeah, so if there's no fire around him, he can't do anything, but if there's, like, a lighter or something, like, in the movies, he always carried the flip lighter uh -huh. with him, he can manipulate that. Okay. So, um, but yeah, I mean, that'd be pretty cool. Adam Driver could play just kind of like an emo s character, who's just a pyromaniac, which would be cool. Okay. Um, He's a big Crow, dude. Yeah. I'd have Nightcrawler as Bill Skarsgård. Okay. Because he can do all the creepy movements similar to what he did in the It franchise. Or yep. the new iteration of It. Um, then I have this character that I recently discovered uh, called Bastion. And the, he, the little robot tank Overwatch. guy from Overwatch? Okay. Oh, yeah. I don't know why you want to make him immune, but okay. <laughs> um, no, I'll, I'll look him up. He's... Yeah, he's um basically he's basically Vision. Oh wait, um, I know him. He's yeah, yeah I know he's Vision. a human who was merged with the Sentinel. So I was looking for somebody who could kind of just do like cold like deliverances with lines and uh -huh. stuff, but still be intimidating. And, and be I the picked, new uh, be yeah. the new Vision type guy. Yep. And I picked uh, Or be a vision be a vision villain. That's what he is. Bastion is I put him on the Brotherhood of Mutant side. Okay. Um, I have him played by Ray Fiennes. Do you know who Ray Fiennes is? I don't believe I do off the top of my head. He I'm played, more of a face guy. Oh, he played uh, Voldemort. That might be the one you might be. Oh, yeah, okay, with. Ray Fi Yeah, I know who he is, but for sure. Ray I Dragon. actually almost casted him as X-Men. Or... Professor X. Professor X. Yeah. He could also play Magneto, I feel like. Yeah, but he's great. I mean... He's in Shinra's yeah. list, and what was the other one that I remember? Yeah, I said Red Dragon. Mm -hmm. And then I, is he? He's in the Grand Budapest Hotel. I know that much. Okay, yeah, that was the one I was thinking of that I never finished. But which I, I don't. Seen that. Which, which is like a. Everyone loves that show or movie and jacks it off. And what I love Wes Anderson, but just for pretty much his artistic take, his movies are pretty. Yeah, I don't like Wes Anderson's movies, but. Kind of boring. Well, I like I mean, Fantastic Mr. Either. Fox. That one was entertaining, but. Yeah, and I, I like. Uh, I like the Royal Tendenbaums. That movie is pretty hilarious, but. Grand Budapest Hotel. It's a beautiful movie. The color palette is amazing in the set yeah. pieces, but the movie is just boring, but. <laughs> And for Fight my me. final pick, I have Jean Grey Phoenix. Mm -hmm. Played by... So just, uh, just, yeah. Just her fully bad. She can okay. either be working with Magneto or just be, like, mm -hmm. her own big bad. Just uh, make her bad the whole time, dude. That's like, what I want to do. Yeah. And yeah. it'd also be, um, I... It's not House of M. I think it might be called the Phoenix Force... But um, mm, where she gives similar to Apocalypse giving his powers to other uh, people, yeah, yeah, his horsemen in um, yeah, X Men Apocalypse, who uh, is Psylocke, who I want to see, yeah. But the Phoenix or Jean Grey grants like the Phoenix powers to like Cyclops, Colossus, uh, Magic, mm -hmm. and I think that's it actually, because I remember I sent you pictures of um some cool uh statues they had of them. 
All right. So that'd be cool to have, you know, have that, like, not just Jean Grey being the big bad, but having the full Phoenix Force okay. being an enemy. And I have Amelia Clark playing her. Okay, I should have seen that coming. She can go from, you know, just being... The, the range she has is fantastic. I mean, all yeah, you need to do is I watch mean, Game of Thrones. Especially yeah, which in the later I seasons. When she gets, like, very just straight-faced and scary mm -hmm. at times. She can get pretty... I mean, for someone who looks as unintimidating as her. Yeah, so a very few moments where I get a little, Yeah. And her in real life, she's, like, the cutest, most she's so innocent nice, thing yeah. ever. But yeah, there's moments in Game of Thrones where I, it's like, I'm not scared of you, but you're making me uncomfortable. Mm -hmm. Like, if I do wrong, might, you'll murder me. She might be our new Mira. I thought they went back on that. I thought... Well, I I don't know who it is. But they definitely just got said Amber Heard out. She's, ru she's rumored. Oh yeah, Amber Heard is she's out. She's out, sure. good. Okay. Thank God. She's out, just like the turd. Yep. She was cut know. from the roll like the tip of Johnny's finger. <laughs> <laughs> oh my lord. We are relentless. Oh yeah. I mean, honestly, I've been more tame than I normally am, which is... Yeah, that's fair. I can get pretty bad. <laughs> <laughs> oh. I kind of kind of went a little crazy this episode. Oh, uh, that's fine. You gotta have moments where you get crazy. Now this episode's been fun. Yeah, this has been a really great episode. I loved hearing all your picks and mm. your inputs on all the characters and you know what actors should play who. Mm -hmm. Definitely gotta do this. Like as, yeah, as our listeners may know, I mean we're big DC guys, but the MCU just does everything right. So I mean, it's just cool to see them have full control of the X-Men now. Yeah. They're, they're going to do great things with it, I know, no matter what. Yeah. I mean, yeah, Nick and I are both mainly DC people, but we love all comics and all other forms of oh, no nerdy doubt. stuff. Like, I like uh, anime and, like, Lord of the Rings. <laughs> oh, which a little plug. Which a little plug. I'm a known anime hater, so... Yeah. We have an episode coming out where I watched anime for the first time and i watched spirited away so no nothing i'm not gonna say anything further than that but that was a good pick. look out I mean, for that video yeah it's a miyazaki movie it's gonna be fantastic no matter what at yeah, least very I don't... visually pleasing to the eyes okay yeah well well yeah so i guess uh that was a fun fan cast fun. let us know in the comments down below what do you want us to fan cast next i mean these are fun episodes to do. Yeah, we'd these are ones where we can... Totally stoked if... Yeah, we'd be totally stoked if you want us to do more. Yeah, it gives us a lot of uh, different avenues and just, I feel, great conversations to segue in and out between mm -hmm. just... And give a lot of praise and also some hate here or there, but hate's mostly from me, on different yeah. actors <laughs> and different films talking about their uh, discography, so... Mm-hmm. Yeah, definitely like to do it again. That's that. Can't All wait right. to see the X Men and the MCU. Yep, I hope it happens sooner rather than later. It'll probably be another uh, seven years down the road. Yeah, I can't remember. Yeah, it's gonna be. It might be a while, but there might be hints here and there. Slowly getting to it. Yeah, we might get Fantastic Four before. Who knows? Well, we already are. That's already set for two thousand twenty-two, yeah. I believe. Spring. We'll yeah, I mean. Which everyone has the same fan cast for that. Oh yeah, Jennifer Lawrence so. is uh Susan Storm, so Okay, never mind. Alright. <laughs> Alright. I really hope that doesn't happen. <laughs> I hope it does just to right. get upset. Not that I hate Jennifer Lawrence, it's just bruh, Emily Blunt and John Krasinski. Let's do it. No reason not to. Alright. Let's go. Alright. Thanks out, for listening. Guys.